behalf of the Institute of Political Science and all my colleagues, I would like to welcome you to this uh, online graduation ceremony. I hope you are watching it somewhere nice place, um, in a festive mood, accompanied by your uh, friends and by your uh, family. A few months ago, probably none of you could have envisaged uh, to have to be graduating uh, in, this, uh, in this way. Indeed, we at the Institute also hoped until the very last moment that a face-to-face -face graduation ceremony, even in some limited form, uh, would be possible. The circumstances, unfortunately, dictate uh, otherwise. However, this should not take away the fact that this, this ceremony uh, is, in many respects, a very special one. There are at least two reasons for it. To start, to start with, you are the very first group of students, the first cohort, to graduate from International Relations and Organizations program, which we started in The Hague in 2017. None of us at the Institute at that time imagined that the program would become so quickly so attractive to so many students. So back then, we suddenly faced a very large group of students from all corners of the world studying in essentially untested program. You became something like frontier pioneers in education, helping us to shape the program to what it is today. Your input, your contribution has become legendary. To, to demonstrate this, our office tells me that there have been some 180 Cyrus-related emails received by the Institute till now, and even more emails rece uh, received related to the IRO program. Taken together, that's probably more email traffic than we received for all the other programs in the entire Institute's history. You were the group that started with this kind of keen engagement, with this kind of interest in the program of which you were part. The second reason why this ceremony is special is that you are the group of students that helped us to eradicate the myth that it is impossible to organize good and engaging education with a large group of students. I speak for myself, but I know this is shared by many of my colleagues. At no time before in my career, I lectured a class larger than during the first year's introduction to comparative politics. And teaching you actually defied all my initial expectations. Instead of passivity and anonymity that often comes with classes of this size, I experienced keen political and academic interest, individual initiative, full office hours, and even actually some protest against my otherwise great and easy multiple choice exam. It really has been a pleasure to teach in such vibrant environment. And in this way, you actually define the spirit of IRO studies for the generations of students that will come after you. So I invite you and your parents and friends to watch this graduation ceremony. In the spirit of IRO studies, the ceremony has been uh, a genuine um, collective exercise. It has been contributed to by the many colleagues and students, and I hope you will enjoy it. Hey, everyone. So you made it to the final year and you graduated. Congratulations. I'm probably a long uh, past memory for you three years ago. Um, but I must say it was a really, really fun experience to teach the course. It was really nice to have you. You were always a bunch of really motivated and curious and smart students. So I'm really glad that you made it through these uh, uh, th uh, three years. As you can hear from the background, I'm taking a break between bottles and nappies. Um, uh, enjoying some time with my newborn son. I, uh, I wish you, uh, like for him, best in life. Uh, I hope that you have a very successful career in the years to come. Some of you will continue in the master's program. Some of you will uh, go directly to uh, the professional life. So I really hope it all works out for you. I hope you stay in touch and that you keep uh, a good memory of these three years in life.
Take care. Hello, Iro. Well, I was looking forward to seeing you all when I came back from the US, um, but apparently every once in a while, everyone's plans get sabotaged by a global pandemic. So here we are, you get a little recorded video from my living room. So it's time for you all to go. Hopefully you've learned a useful thing or two over the past three years, um, including absolutely essential items of knowledge like Pirates of the Caribbean is not a useful source of historical information. Or um, perhaps more importantly, that if you want to understand why we are where we are now, which is not a glorious place, you should probably have um, the Haitian Revolution somewhere on your radar. And you also should remember um, that we're still not really sure as to when or where exactly capitalism began. I hope some of this still rings a bell. Um, if not, please let me remain delusional about how much you actually remember from year one. <laughs> so Ira, class of 2020, I'm not going to go through the usual string of post-graduation well wishes, though I obviously do wish you well. Um, I think instead I'm just going to say that you've been a very special bunch. You are obviously our very first IRO cohort here at Leiden, and I think as I've perhaps mentioned in the past, um, you were also my first cohort. I'd done some small group teaching as a PhD student, um, but that day in February 2017, when I showed up for a very first global history class, that was my first ever university lecture. And I will always remember it as if we were yesterday. Over the two years that we spent together in the classroom, I went from absolutely dreading coming to class because I was so anxious about having to speak in front of so many people. And some people love doing this, um, but I actually have really bad stage fright. So this was really tough at the beginning to actually really looking forward to it um, and realizing that I felt unbelievably energized on the days when I'd come to The Hague and I'd seen you all. In this past year, um, while I was in the US, I obviously enjoyed being able to work on my book, um, but I also genuinely missed you. I missed sharing my love of history with you. Um, I missed our office hour chats. I miss running into your friendly faces around Vinehaven, and I missed your energy, your curiosity, your endless appetite for knowledge, uh, even if sometimes you asked me really difficult questions I couldn't answer. And I think most of all, um, I missed your hopes, your hopes um, for what might be possible out there in the world beyond our cozy Vinehaven bubble. So my own hope is that as you step out into this world with fresh eyes and a few more analytical tools to your belt, you bring with you that richness of spirit that once made you a wonderful bunch of students. Class of 2020, congratulations and good luck to you all.
Hi, everyone. My name is Simon Shosha, and I'm an assistant professor of political science. Um, so this year, Dan, Thomas, and I had the great privilege um, to read the best of the best among the first ever batch of IRO um, thesis. We had a very uh, impressive slate of submissions to choose from. Um, the thesis we examined um, covered a wide diversity of policy relevant topics, international trade, radical politics, European Union politics, the role of identity in the Brexit referendum, and of course, conflict, both in the cyberspace and very real forms of conflict and violence, including uh, terrorism. The first thing I want to do on behalf of um, Professor Thomas and myself is to congratulate the author of all of the theses we read, um, as well as their supervisors. Um, they really made the choice uh, pretty difficult for us. Uh, we were extremely impressed by the originality of the topics chosen and by the amount of craft and work um, that went into each of these uh, contributions. Um, full disclosure, we do think that more than one um, of these really stood out as original contributions to existing research and as such uh, would be of publishable quality with, um, um, with a few revisions, of course. Okay, but we had to choose a winner. Without further ado, I will now um, reveal who the winner is, um, not before a slight drum roll. Here we go. Okay, I won't make it last too long. Um, so I'm very, very happy to announce that the first ever IRO thesis prize is awarded this year to Mary Munch, uh, for a thesis titled The Impact of Agricultural Intens Intensification on Civil Conflict in Africa. We both send our most heartfelt congratulations to uh, Ms. Munch, as well as to her advisor, uh, Dr. Uh, Reza Idaria Kenari, uh, who supervised the thesis. Um, Fritz uh, Meiring, also of the Institute of Political Science, was the second reader. Okay, let me tell you uh, very briefly why we thought this was a um, great thesis to, um, um, to award. So uh, Mary Munch's work investigates the relationship between two variables that so far very few works have uh, connected, uh, which is the intensification of agriculture and conflict, right? Um, the project develops a theoretical framework to help us understand how the two uh, phenomena might be connected, um, specifically how agricultural intensification may generate new types of grievances and how those grievances then may lead to further civil conflict. Um, we were also impressed by the empirical section of the paper, uh, of the thesis, which provided uh, really detailed and, and robust evidence, we thought, that uh, intensification can increase civil conflict um, um, and, and, and through a variety of, 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 of mechanisms. Um, these findings, we think, have actually in clear implications for governance choices um, in, in many developing countries. So um, with this in mind, congratulations once more to Mary Munch, a very well-deserved prize. Thank you very, very much.
congratulations to all of you for graduating. Unfortunately, it's not the graduation that we wished for, but nevertheless, it should be a festive occasion. Over the past three years, as the IRO pioneers, the guinea pigs, we've been to a lot together. The good and the bad times. Today, we'll briefly reflect on the past three years and what they've brought us. It all started in the first block of the first year, where we met all the international organizations and first became acquainted with realism and liberalism, Mirsch, Heimer and Benz and all those other guys. The second year we learned about second block we learned about economics with the salad as an example, struggled with statistics and had everyone's favorite course, actors in world politics. In the winter of the first year, Greg Shapiro came to our study for an event and a small group of IRO students came together, the IRO reps, and little did we know that this group of students would later become Cyrus. A long month all followed, and when we came back to our beloved 201, we had history courses, more statistics, but also we met everyone's favorite, Dr. Kopecki, for the first time. In block four, we had a little bit of courses about the EU and intro to political science, but before we knew, the year was gone and flew by. What Hannah forgot to mention was that the first year was also the first time we had a football game against international studies and lost miserably. And then we lost again and again. But who's counting it? Our second year started similar to our first year with our hopes and dreams that we were going to do our readings on time and do our assignments on time. Some of us did, some of us didn't. But the second year was also incredibly, incredibly special for Cyrus because that was the year that we decided to become an official association. So we started the year with that aim. And on the last day of the second year, in May 2019, which is also the day of our last exam as second year students, Cyrus registered herself as a official student association of the Dutch Chamber of Commerce. And I know that everyone wasn't involved with Cyrus, or even a member, essentially, but I don't think that we would have had the same motivation if we hadn't received an enormous amount of support from everyone over here or in your homes or wherever you are right now. Um, but enough about Cyrus. Our second year was also when we started doing research methods and data analysis and we had to do statistics for the third time which made our lives miserable but we survived. Um, we had, I think, probably the most interesting courses we had law where we learned that Westphalia, which sort of became the epitome of our, our year, or wine failure as we'd like to call it, was actually a myth, which is kind of nice because it was quite overly stated in all of our courses. Our third year started in a very weird way because all of our friends were away on exchange or doing their minors at a different university or doing an internship or elective somewhere in the world or in the Netherlands. Um, but February was nice, everyone came back, we got to meet all of our friends and little did we know that that, that would only last for a month, a month and a half at max because well, a pandemic happened. Um, we started our theses and our bachelor seminars, but again, by March we were all stuck in our homes saying goodbye or not saying goodbye to people because everyone had to leave abruptly and we were stuck, most of us at least, with having to write a thesis in the midst of our pandemic, at home, without wine harbor, without looking for a space to study or not, and not finding one in the silent area, um, and without our friends. Um, but we survived. We did it. Um, we didn't get to say goodbye to most people. We didn't. We're not going to have a graduation. We're not going to get to spend the last two months of our bachelors at wine harbor or in the Hague with our friends. But. I think in a way it's brought people closer because you've had to put an effort to be with your friends. Um, but yeah, our bachelor is now over and our three years didn't end with a bang but with a pandemic. So good luck, hopefully we meet sometime in the future. Dear IRO graduates, on behalf of SPIL, I would like to congratulate you with your diploma. We are currently living in a crazy, insecure time, and I can imagine that this is not the graduation that you were waiting for. But besides that, the magic is not gone yet. You worked super hard for this, and you deserve to celebrate. 
so congratulations. Hey guys, congratulations with graduating this year. You can be really proud of yourself and I hope even due to the circumstances that you will still be able to celebrate this nice day. Dear class of 2020, I wanted to congratulate you on the amazing achievement you've done. While the whole world was upside down and battling a pandemic, you continued on and you wrote your thesis or you finished your exams. And for that, you should be very proud of yourself. Congrats on your bachelor's degree. class of 2020. Congratulations! I wanted to make sure to film this message here at Weinhafen because I know that it has a lot of meaning for you guys because this is where your journey, your IRO journey first started. So as you can see I am here now at Weinhafen uh, where it all began and I just want to take this moment uh, to thank you guys because as study advisors we learn a lot from you. And uh, hopefully you learn a lot from us, but I just want you guys to know that we learn as much from you 
as you learn from us. And we're going to miss you. And we are very proud of all your achievements. I'm so happy to see that everybody's doing different things from traveling to a master program, to working, to, you know, even taking the time to think about what you're going to be doing later in life. I mean, that's also great. You have shown extreme resilience and determination and motivation, and I couldn't be more proud of all of you. Because remember, remember what Charles Darwin said, it is not the fittest that survive, nor the most intelligent. It is the one that is most responsive to change. Good luck to all of you. You will be missed. Hello everyone. Warm welcome from The Hague. First of all, I want to congratulate all of you with your amazing accomplishment of your graduation. And I truly regret that I'm not able to congratulate you in person. I do hope you were able to celebrate your success with your family and with your friends. Ms. Ignacia Levy has talked about the start of your study. I would like to address the last semester of your study. In March 2020, just after the start of your second semester, you were suddenly confronted with the coronavirus and a sudden lockdown. And instead of going to university for your classes and for meeting your friends, you had to stay at home and write your thesis from home. It meaning that you had to study in very difficult circumstances. And despite the complex situation, you were able to pull it off and to finish your studies. And I think you can be very proud for that. As an Irish student, you aim to work in a international organization, an embassy, an NGO, or a ministry of foreign affairs. And you will address issues that happen in the world. And one day in your future career, you may be confronted with a crisis yourself and will be asked to provide a solution. At that moment, you will reflect on the situation you have um, endured yourself in the spring of 2020, how you were feeling at that moment, what you did and how you coped with the situation. And that experience will help you to come up with a good advice for the organization. I really enjoyed being your study advisor during the program having talks in our meeting room or during sessions or events, listening to your ideas and see them accomplished during the program. For now, I want to wish you good luck with your future endeavors. And I will give the floor to Miss Esther Blom. Keep in touch and whenever you are in The Hague, do not hesitate to visit us at Wijnhaven. Today we are celebrating the first online graduation ceremony of the Political Science Institute ever. We're celebrating this in the most historic building of Leiden University, which is the Academy Building. Upstairs in the Academy Building, you can find the Sweat Room, the most famous room of Leiden University. When you complete your degree at Leiden University, your master's degree, then you can put your name on the wall, just as many other people have done before. If you're not in the Netherlands, then you can go to the online or the virtual sweat room and put your tag on the wall. You just saw my colleague Ignacia Levy from the auditorium in Wijnhaven. I'm currently in the large auditorium of the Academy building where graduations have taken place since centuries. You have become a proud member of a huge worldwide LU alumni community. Stay in touch with this community. Follow them on social media. It may support you in your future plans. Congratulations on this achievement, and I wish you the best of luck. So, this brings our graduation to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I also hope that it gave you, um, your families and friends, at least a sense of how studying for bachelor in international relations and organizations at Leiden University is. The graduation ceremony ends here, and so are, officially, your undergraduate studies. However, what does not end are the processes of learning, exploring, and discovering, which are more like a lifelong project rather than an exercise in three years of undergraduate studies. The contemporary world provides us with many serious challenges from global environmental problems to the erosion of democracy and democratic norms. You, as graduates, um, as graduated political scientists, are very aware of these problems and the complexities that are involved when trying to find solutions for them. 
I hope that no matter what you do in the future, you will remain interested in politics and in public matters and in the problems we as mankind collectively face and that you will do it with the zeal and spirit uh, you showed during your undergraduate studies with us. On behalf of the Institute of Political Science and all my colleagues, congratulations with your bachelor degree and very best wishes for the future.